Hello and welcome back to Call of the Wild. Today we are continuing our Layton Lakes District quest walkthrough. The DLCs and the guidelines are listed in the description below. How are you doing in your walkthrough so far? Enjoying the game? Do you have a lot of zones? Leave a comment. Alright. If you're not playing along, please subscribe. Play along with us. We are having a lot of fun exploring this wonderful map. And we've just begun just begun. So we've got some great zones. We've got two setups for harvest so far. We are in Chalia looking for mostly coyotes. Haven't found any coyote zones yet. Our last indicator of what blacktail deer are doing was resting from 20 to 0 hundred and it is currently half past 0 hundred. I do not have any zones for coyotes so I do not know what coyotes are doing right now. And I do, and I do not know what Blacktail are doing right now either. So we've got a mystery. What do we have here? Let's go solve this mystery. All right, so. Last we checked out this lake here. I don't have a name for the lake, but right next to the hiking village. Discovered the hiking village and then came back. We have a mystery right here. You know what? Let's go check that out. Let's see what that is. We're just going to go and romp and Most importantly, we want vocals. Well, that's not true. Most importantly, we want the zones, but... We want the vocals. Okay. And that's in the opposite direction, roughly. Well, let's go check it out. We don't know what Blacktail are doing right now. This blacktail very well could be traveling. It's only half past its rest zone. It's rest zone time. I don't want to climb up too much more of this mountain. This spot does not look entirely promising. Doesn't mean it's not a rest zone or a feed zone. It doesn't look doesn't look too good. So 
So there we got the black tail moving this way. And then I'm guessing these are run tracks. No? That's why I figured I spooked it. Well, let's go backwards on the track just slightly. And since we know that Blacktail were resting, there's a good chance its rest zone is close by. Especially when it's only walking. And it's only been 30 minutes since it was in its zone. This terrain is, is difficult. How far off am I? Alright, so I want to get back in line if I can. I don't know how uh, realistic it is for the animals to travel on some of this terrain. I've seen animals stuck in between rocks and things. I'm not quite sure what their limitations are on some of this terrain. Alright, well, I'm going to leave it at the dung pile and move forward. It was worth a shot. Sometimes, you know, when you stop looking, you, you do end up finding new tracks for them too, so... You never really know what can happen. This is a very interesting and fun game. It's not always the same. A lot of games, the same, you know, bad guy in the same spot. See, here, got the track. It's the same bad guy in the same spot over and over and over again. This game keeps guessing. I like that. Alright, so we're, we're getting close. It should be coming up. We got Blacktail moving, moving down towards the water. We got Blacktail. Ah, rabbit. We got Blacktail moving up. Alright. Okay. Elk.
Well, we could check water. Let's go ahead and check the water. We've seen blacktail tracks moving downhill. We've also seen them moving uphill. The wind is definitely in our favor. We'll leave those rabbits alone for now. <clears throat> what do we have here? No, no coyote. That's not coyote. All right. Ah, uh, rabbit. All right, we got a bear call. It's a warning. It's 150. Let's check him out. I just want to check out these tracks really quick. Ah, help. Ah, uh, let's check out that bear call. Is that a flea? That's a flea. I'm going to guess that's a zone. Rest zone, feed zone. Maybe a feed zone. Let's see. Alright, we got some track. That's a black tail call. Well, <clears throat> so this is where the, the bear fled, or in process of. So here's Trot. If anything, this might lead us to a drink zone then, since it's not a feed zone or a rest zone. Yet, there it is. All right. Now, with dung piles, when you're going backwards on a track, you know, it doesn't really matter how old they are. You're just wanting it to complete a line so you can kind of get a gist of which way the animal's moving. I don't want to forget about coyote while I'm doing this. All right, I'm going to leave the bear trail and go for the black tail. Hopefully it wasn't a waste of time. Okay, it's not. It's his own. Um, 
it's an old zone. It's not exactly what we're looking for. We'll definitely take it. Alright, let's continue to make our way. There very well could be another animal there. I didn't... The animal I spooked is not the same animal resting there. I'm going to move on though. I'm not necessarily looking for blacktail in this area right now. Much more concerned about coyote. Alright, I think I'm going to travel north along the water to right, roughly a, somewhere around this area. And then it, whatever I get here, then fast travel back here and then go back to this area because at least there's signs of coyote in this area. Alright. So let's go ahead and make our first sweep along the water. Don't really mind if I spook anything. I'm just looking for tracks. Keep in mind on one of the guidelines is harvesting animals only in their zones. So even if we do come across an animal, we want, we can't shoot it. Technically, we can, but... And so, if you're, you're wondering if, like, we stumble across a legendary, what happens? Well, you can either spook the legendary off or whatever, let it go walk by, get its tracks, look at it, oh, man. Okay. But, uh get its tracks, and then go backwards on its tracks and see where it came from. It's a single. You can also uh, stalk it, though, too. So you don't have to spook it right away. You can stalk it and see where it's going. That's exactly what we were looking for. So this black tail there, 16 through 20, we already knew that. Oh, black bear, I could have sworn I saw a coyote. Was that just wishful thinking? That was wishful thinking. Okay. It's mallard. So there's different ways you can find out which animals that are traveling to their zones. It just takes a little bit more time, a bit more patience. I didn't see... Did it disappear on me already? Okay, okay, okay. If it is a drink time for Coyote, I'm going to guess it's at least an hour in, hour and a half in, if this is it. 
Thank you. All right. And look at this. We've got one animal. Possibly two. Different track. Look at that. It's lit up. We got here. Yes. Possibly three animals here. You know what? I'm not going to uh, pass this up. I'm going to place now. If I can. So this is a little bit of a tough spot. And we are carrying, or I'm carrying ground blinds right now. So if you're carrying ground blinds or a tripod, you're, you're, you know, you're going to do things just slightly different. You might want a different angle, you know, your placement will be slightly off, different than mine, unless you're in a similar situation as me. So... Shooting through these branches, and it's going to be at night too, so keep in mind the time at which you will also be doing this. At night, shooting through branches is, it, shooting through branches is tough regardless, but Shooting through branches at night can be even more of a little bit of a headache. What kind of line of sight do I have right here? Let's go ahead and move that waypoint. Alright. So my waypoint is... A little bit more to the west. Ah, if I go back this far, I'm going to need a tripod. At least from this, this angle. I'll be shooting through, shooting through branches. And that's only 40 meters. Let's see what happens. From the north, looking south. Yeah, I'm already not liking all that branches. I think this is even worse. We're 27 meters away. Dream zone. Let's try this this line of sight. This may not be that bad. We do have a little bit of branches. Uh, if you've got a tripod on you, this would be a quite nice angle, line of sight for you. Alright, so I'm 35 right here. That's super close for a rifle, hot 243. I don't know if I feel right using it. I mean, technically, I suppose I could use any weapon from Weapon Pack 1 and 
vanilla. I'm just I'm not going to. I want the 243 until I jump to the 270, which is what I'm going to do when I get roughly about 13, 14 thousand in game dollars. Okay, uh, no. came up to that. I don't want to shoot through that. getting even worse, but maybe it won't be terrible. What do y'all think? <laughs> what do y'all think? Uh, I think that looks ugly. Not saying it's impossible. Looks ugly. There's a lot there. There's a lot there at this angle. this I'm gonna go ahead and put it here double check it All right, so I got a little bit of bush. Mostly just tall grass, no trees in my way from this angle. I actually think that's not a bad spot. Look at that, did y'all see that? That actually is not too bad. That is a nice line of sight. It's still a little close, but that's okay. Let's place our tent. I don't have any zones. This whole area is unknown to me. What was that? Okay, I, I typically like to line them up if I can. You know, you don't have to. Especially depending on where your zones are, you know. Tent placement later on in the game. 
definitely gets a little bit different than early on in the game. I mean, you can kind of walk all over quite a bit of stuff and not know you're doing it. I'm still on that rabbit. That rabbit is hard. All right, so 120. Hundred twenty ish right there kind of Okay, we are now at a good distance to place our tent. Hey, look at this spot. This is a good looking spot. I camp here. I put up camp here. Well, let's overlook the lake. Oh, doesn't like that spot. You like the weird spot. Okay. Uh, not worried about that. Let's go check out that deer. I think that was somewhere in this area. You know what? No, no. That's not. That's... I thought I discovered that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's a... That's a different spot. Okay. Let's go check that out. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not concerned about that deer. If it was in Belmont, I'd be all over it. Alright, so we got one coyote zone. The harvest. Look at this zone. I need this zone in Belmont. Two animals. Yeah, three. Maybe four. But yeah, we need uh, we need those coyotes. We need coyotes. All right, it's a codex marker. So, this is the Koi Wolf. Am I saying that right? Koi Wolf is a informal term for a, I don't know that one, canned hybrid descended from coyotes and gray wolves. Hybridization between the two species is facilitated by the fact that they diverged relatively recently. Around 6,000 to 117,000 years ago. Hmm. Koi wolf, huh? I don't think I'm saying that right, though. Alright, well, we got some... XP for that, very cool. We know coyotes are drinking, still right now. Let's check out this lake. Let's go back to this lake. Let's fast travel, get ourselves a tent. And then check out this lake. Oh, 
blue one. Jackrabbit. All right, so one more tent after this. And I've also got one more ground blind on me after this. I've got two ground blinds on me right now. Two more. So two ground blinds, two tents. Or if I have to throw a tripod in here. That was not a bad uh, run, honestly, you know. Picked up six zones and set a harvest spot. Not bad at all. Plus, we found out what coyotes are doing right now. And we also found out what Blacktail are doing right now. So we solved our mysteries for this time block. What am I on? I'm on Rabbit? Okay. So I'm wondering if I should just run up on this, or should I spot it? The wind... Well... The wind should be fine. black tail deer. So is that also a elk zone? Check this out. Maybe we'll get a a new animal for this zone. There it is. Kind of looks like one animal, maybe two. Okay. Well, I'm already a hundred meters away from this spot. I didn't spook everything though, there's something right? No. Nope. No coyote calls.
It's almost three hours into the coyote drinking time. So you would think if they're drinking here at this time, their tracks are here. Just do a quick, quick circle. Yeah, I'm not even going to spot this. I'm not getting any calls. Granted, I was here just a few hours ago, but still. I've given plenty of time for animals to come back into this zone. Or this, this lake, this area. Well, it does look like no coyotes are drinking at this location. No coyotes could still be at this location. Maybe at a different drink time. Or perhaps I spooked, spooked it. This hasn't been in yet. Still has an hour. And it can still be up there, you know. They can be a hundred meters or so away from the center of the drink zone marker and I've only been checking along the edge water's edge all right well success definitely feel good got one coyote zone ready for harvest. I would like one to two more. You know what? We might very well spook it if it's here, but let's do a quick run around the lake. Maybe we can speed it up a bit too. Get some new stuff. Huh. Now I definitely could have spooked everything by jumping in. Let's go ahead and do a quick round. I wonder if we'll see the blacktail tracks.
not seeing them offhand. All right. Just double checking to make sure, because I'm pretty sure this coyote has to be sh has to be shot in Chalila. It can die outside the zone, the area. It has to be shot in the area. What do we have there? Another swing and miss? Well, didn't finish checking the entire river, and there's still another lake to check as well. Definitely can't see the black tail tracks. It's been quite a bit of time though. Well, I'm calling it there. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to our tent. And we are going to call it for today's episode. What'd you think? Leave a comment, please. If you enjoyed it, Give a thumbs up. If you're playing along, don't forget to hit that notification button. And if you haven't already, and this is some content you enjoy watching, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.